Welcome back. Now in this video, we want to discuss very briefly another use for the markers that we talked about in the previous video. And what you can do is you can actually create a table of contents for each individual video. And you can do that by marking your timeline. And for example, we're just going to move the cursor all the way back to the home area. And let's say that you got to the first portion of your video and you wanted to mark this as a point that you wanted people to know that it was a certain information point in your video. Well, you could actually mark that with a marker. And obviously what you want to do at each marker point is you want to write in what the table of contents point is going to be. If this is going to be chapter one, you want to write that in. And you can write it in as you edit. Point number two can be chapter two. It's important to note that only certain kinds of videos are you going to be able to use your table of contents. And let's take a look right now. In order to get to the final preparation of our video, we go to the share, we go to custom production, and then we click custom production. And what you're going to notice here is that Camtasia will give us the option of using a smart player. This is an option that we'll be able to actually use our table of contents. If we choose any of the other formats, we're not actually going to be able to produce our video with a table of contents. And you'll see that as you progress through the final portion. And you'll notice here that this video can have a table of contents and have a searchable table of contents. But we'll talk more about the production options in future videos. It's important to note that for this video, we want to make mention that you can actually use markers in your timeline to denote when you want to have a portion of that video noted in a table of contents. And you can mark it and keep it marked as you produce the final video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.